In number 19, we are given a polynomial and one of its factors, and we're asked to find the other factors. You could think of this as a problem such as, given the number 168 and 7 as one of its factors, find the other factors. Well, what would you do in that situation? We would take 168 and divide it by 7, in which case we get 24. Okay, and then we would take 24 and fact see if that gets factored into further numbers and then 3 and 8 and so on. Okay, so then we would do the prime factorization. Well, this is something similar in that we're going to take the polynomial 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3x minus 18 and we're going to divide it by x plus 2. We're going to use long division. So now we divide 2x cubed by x we get 2x squared and we multiply the 2x squared by x plus 2, we get 2x cubed plus 4x squared. And now we subtract. An easier way to subtract is to change the signs and add. And we bring down the next one. We divide 3x squared by x, we get 3x. We multiply 3x by x plus 2, we get 3x squared plus 6x. Once again, we change the signs and add. We bring down. We divide negative 9x by x, we get negative 9. We multiply negative 9 by x plus 2, we get negative 9x minus 18. Change the signs and add. Both of these cancel and we get 0. If we did not get 0 as our remainder, then we, knew, we should know that we did something wrong because they told us that x plus 2 is a factor. That means we have to get 0 when we finish dividing. Just as in the example 168 and 7, if we, finish one, if we divide 168 by 7, we should get a remainder of 0. Okay, now we, we check to see if we could factor further. So we take 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 and fact, see if we could factor it further. That, that would be similar to the 24 that we factored further. We're going to take the 2 and multiply it by negative 9. That's negative 18. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 18 and add to 3. That's the number that's multiplied by the x. That's the b in ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, the two numbers are 6 and negative 3. So we're going to split the middle term. So instead of writing 3x, we're going to write plus 6x minus 3x. And now we're going to factor by grouping. We're going to factor these two. That gives us, they have a GCF of 2x. So we get 2x times x plus 3. And these two, they have a GCF of negative 3. And we get x plus 3 when we factor that out. Now, these we have 
x plus 3 in common amongst the two of these. So you see this x plus 3, they both have that in common, so we're going to factor that out. So that comes out here, and we're left with 2x minus 3. So that's the answer to the other two factors of that polynomial.